when not on a mission. And here you can see a look at pedestrians in action, walking naturally for the first time in game. And uh, they look pretty natural. You can see this fat lady this strolling really across. And for the first time, we are going to see a character switch happen in person. So here it comes. Also allow for he brings up the menu and he chooses, it looks like uh, Michael or Franklin. Let's see. Touch of voyeurism. Now. As you can All right, so you see how it zoomed out? It was like pulsing. It wasn't one smooth transition. I don't know if they edited that to go with the music or uh, if it's really like that. You know, I, in my head, I was imagining a smooth transition, just zooming straight out, moving over straight back into the other character. You'll see the same thing when it zooms back in. Let's watch. In at any moment and find out what your new friends have been. So as you can see, it's not a smooth zoom. It like pulsed inward. Um, I'm kind of hoping that they edited that for the trailer, uh, but I'm not totally sure. Um, I'd, I'd rather see a smooth transition. Up to as they go about their day. And here's Michael and his kid. They just got done mountain biking. You can see the tires and all that look great on the mountain bike. It's got the mud flap thing over Jeez. the back tire and just some really good meaty tires on there. So I can't wait to go mountain biking in this game. Michael's got quite the mansion here. Um, so here you can see the stats are a little different. His special bar is a little more full now. His strength is definitely higher than the one that we just pointed out. And uh, the flying is pretty good. Lung capacity and driving still pretty low. <clears throat> so maybe that's kind of Michael's set of expertise, or at least how Rockstar has chosen to level him uh, in their save file anyway. So moving onward, another switch pulsing outward over to Blaine County. And here's Trevor when we find him in the middle of a police chase. What else would he be doing? Um, he was just... Right, that, that's that's what's cool about this game. I'm like, I'm freaking out right now. I can't even talk. Um, <laughs> what's cool is that the characters keep on going even when you're not playing with them. So they zoomed in on Frank or on Trevor, and he was in the middle of a police chase. So now it is your responsibility to get him out of it. And uh, it looks awesome. Look, that, that looks incredible. The truck, and oh my god. You can see he's got a lot of people coming after him. A semi-truck uh, back there and a helicopter coming up on him. And looks like four or five police cars. Oh wow, and even more helicopters. And a plane going across. This is just, this world is hustling and bustling with life and I, I love it. Wow. So, this, very important to note here. Uh, let me try to get it on the first frame here. Alright, so, this is the first uh, glimpse of car customization. I will make a video uh, more in-depth on this at a later time, but here you can see primary colors, 41 of 75. So that tells us 75 primary colors, and uh, looks like you've got pretty much the whole spectrum of the rainbow. And also, car customization is broken down into four main categories. Top speed, acceleration, braking, and traction. Um, as of now, that looks to be the four main categories. I'm sure there's, you know, finer tuning, but that is what we've got so far. Cars. Now, also, we've got wheels, 26 different types of wheels, price with each one, and uh, once again, you can see the four main categories, top speed, acceleration, braking, traction, so, uh, yeah, that looks awesome. There, so far, 26 wheels, 75 colors, I'm happy with that, and it said primary colors, so that tells you that there are secondary, maybe even third, or triary, whatever the word for that would be, so moving onward. To customize. Uh, so you can see the finished product pulling out, looks great. And some uh, some more flight footage flying over a train. Looks great. Now, clothes. Once again, something I'll make a, uh, a finer video on a later date. But as you can see, we have got $20,000 in the top right. And um, we're buying jeans. <laughs> and here, suburban jackets. This is 5 of 12. Now, uh, excuse me. Oh, burp. Oh, my gosh. Um. <laughs> I'm assuming this is just the suburban wear. I, I don't, or maybe this is just jackets as a whole. I'm not totally sure, but either way, we can see this is five of twelve jackets. So we've still got a few uh, good amount of choices there. Sports. To Moving onward, the golf mini game. Of course, you can adjust your strength, your distance, your uh, your height, and your distance to the pin. And also, you've got your uh, where you're hitting the ball, your English on it, the wind speed and direction, and your. Um, your club that you're using. So this is hole three according to the thing to the right there and Michael has a score of negative six right now. He's six under par which means he is doing pretty well. 
Nirvana's to pursue. And we've got some yoga going on, Ocean's some more diving. Um, dive. The ocean floor really does look great. When they said they fully detailed it, they were not kidding. That looks awesome. Animals to spot hunt. Now, here comes Trevor hopping out of his his van wearing camo. That is awesome. This spot right here, guys, hunt. this is what I was talking about before. This is what really freaked me out and got me excited. Um, you know, I was planning to hunt in Grand Theft Auto V, but I did not think that there would be a fully fleshed uh, mini game for it. And I'm assuming that's what this is. Here you can see in the bottom right, the wind speed and direction. Um, now this is one of two things. This is either for the hunting mini game that they give you the wind speed and direction, or this is sniping in general. Anytime that you are sniping, maybe they will give you wind speed and direction, whether it's a pedestrian or an animal, and you have to adjust your shot accordingly. Um, right here you can see the red notch, which probably indicates the actual uh, landing place of the bullet. Um, so obviously he would want to be aiming farther over here if he wants to land a headshot on the deer. Because as you can see down here, the wind is obviously blowing to the right and that is to the right so uh, I I'm looking very forward to see you know seeing how that all plays out and, be hunted by. and that deer is like oh god don't shoot me in my face but he's gonna get shot in the face uh, so this guy holding a sign this is a land of opportunity get out wearing his Uncle Sam jacket and of course opportunity is spelled wrong so he's a bit of a whack job and, and Franklin's walking down the street like a badass you've got us uh, route 68 sign in the back um, 68 also there and there and now you've got this lady looks like she's living in her trailer house thing with the garden gnome over there I, I like those little touches like that it's little things that just add bits of realism on and off. Now she's looking at something on the computer here. It looks like the profile of somebody. Um, not totally sure what it is uh, so I'm not gonna go t into uh, too much detail on that. Simply wonderful. And you? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. That, that, that made me laugh. How have you been? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. And she says that so melodramatically. Uh, that just gave me a good chuckle. So, great looking explosions here. This appears to be a mission. You've got a lot of enemies on the radar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, I don't know. Something like that. So, Franklin, doing the dirty work here. Shooting that guy point blank. I like it. Not even looking. Now he's gonna start popping out a lot more enemies. Now I'm gonna want to get a quick freeze frame here. Hopefully I can land it's it. Also been a huge focus on mechanics in the game. All right. So right here, carbine rifle, all the weapons. Now here are some things that are important to note. It says carbine rifle two of two. This I believe means page two of two. So this is uh, a quote unquote page of weapons, meaning that maybe if you hit on the D-pad, you'll go to page one of two, where you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roughly ten more weapons. So uh, this would show you that you are on the second set, so this means he is carrying maybe twenty weapons at the time, and uh, also the ammo that going along with each weapon and how much you have. So that is how I'm interpreting it. There are a lot of weapons that you can hold, and as you can see here, switching is quick and fluid. As easy as that, he's got his new weapon drawn. Popping more of the people on the roofs, reloading, beautiful. Now, this is the first glimpse of driving. One thing that is important to note, it is wet outside. It is raining. Now, if any of you guys remember in Grand Theft Auto 4 when it was raining, um, you know, steering in GTA 4 was a bitch in itself, but once it was raining, it was even worse. You had even less control, you're sliding everywhere. So, even though it was raining, let's watch how he steers through here. Everything from driving Turning on a dime. Look at that, he maneuvered perfectly through those cars, so that I was very happy to see. Um, so it's gonna be even better when it's dry out, because I, I, I'm just fed up with having to drive a boat down the street in GTA, uh, GTA 4. Doing. So, moving onward here, we've got some target practice. Obviously, this is going to uh, raise your shooting skill. You know, how it showed, like, all your stats and all that. These are going to be little things, mini games, that can raise your skill. So, uh, right here, he's hit 12 of 15 targets. Silver, score, blah, 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 time. And a multiplayer, or multi, not multiplayer, a multiplier. Let's keep on moving onward. 